Hey everyone, in this video we're going to explore a new addition to the multi-resolution workflow in 3D Coat. I'll go ahead and zoom in here. And what I'm going to do is, uh, as you notice, even on a powerful video card, when you've got uh, 50 million uh, triangles or, or polys in a scene, uh, it's really going to make it struggle. So what you can do to take a little bit of a load off your graphic card as far as navigating about your scene is to just hide or turn some of these off. Now it's not going to reduce your memory footprint, but what it will do is it will prevent your graphic card from having to work so hard displaying all those polys. Okay, so let's go ahead and hide the body. As a matter of fact, what I want to do is just focus on the wings. So I'm going to alt click on the visibility icon so it'll isolate just the wings. And now as you can see it's much more robust uh, the viewport performance. Okay, and you can even see that here in the frames per second. It climbed quite a bit. Okay, so here we are, and what I'm going to do on the wings is zoom in and hold the W key, and you can't even see it. Uh, it's so dense. But the closer I zoom in, now all of a sudden you can see the mesh that covers the uh, voxel volume. All right, so, I'm sorry, let me zoom in again. There you go. And so you can see it as I zoom out. Now, what I'm going to do is go to, voxel, uh, go to the voxel menu here and go down to reduce four times. Now, what this does in uh, contrast to decimate is decimate will try to smartly apply more resolution in areas where it needs it uh, to maintain the, the shape. But in the areas where it's more flat like this, it doesn't need that many polys to maintain this flat shape, if that makes sense to you. So uh, Decimate is going to take longer for 3D Coat to calculate, whereas when I go to uh, just simple reduction, that's what I'll do. I'll check this. And when I cache, by clicking on this little cache icon here, it's going to send the current resolution, this, this model, it's going to go ahead and store it to the hard drive and leave behind a lighter version. Okay, so as you can see, on thin objects like this, it's a bit tricky because you don't have much thickness to work with, not a lot of resolution there. So... This is where decimation would come in. Uh, decimation is not quite so bothered because as I hold the W key, you can see it's very low resolution, but 3D Coat tries to pretty much maintain uniformity across the entire object, and so that is why it's a bit inferior to decimation in this particular case. Okay. So, it's great for working as far as uh, sculpting performance at this point in time. It's much, uh, much more efficient. But um, let's go ahead and uncache that. And again, when you do reduce, uh, when you do cache, the more uh, you reduce it down to, the more memory you're going to save. So it helps if you're going to cache layers that you're not actively working on and also hide those so that the graphic card again is not having to crunch all its polys and stuff. So let's now look at the decimation. So we'll come down to eight levels of decimation. Again we'll just take a peek. You see it's a fairly dense mesh at this point. And so now when I click the cache to disk you can see it's going to take a bit longer to calculate this. It's just a, a tougher, more complex algorithm that it's have to go through. But if you 
want to reduce your memory footprint, but at the same time maintain a very similar look in the scene as you're working, this could be the very thing for you. This, uh, when you reduce it down, it's not going to look all mangled and worn out. Okay, so let's zoom in again. And I'll hold the W key. And you can see how it's much more dense where it needs resolution here to maintain that, that shape. But it's less dense out here in the open. So let's find a little tiny, tiny area. Yeah, as you can see, these very small areas, it's really packing the, uh, the triangles or the polygons in tight. Okay, so I would not, at this point in time, it's really not optimized for uh, sculpting performance. I would stick to the reduction at this point in time. Okay, so that should conclude this look at the decimation feature edition inside the multi-resolution tool set of 3D Coat. Thank you for watching.